Hey everybody, welcome back. <clears throat> I hope I sound a little better today. Yesterday I had talked all work at day and I should have just been resting my voice, but I was just chit-chatting. I'd been away from work for five days. So I was catching up with everybody. What's going to be going on? We had people banned. We had, you know, police officers coming and looking, ex-employees coming in. So I was chit-chatting too much yesterday. Um, my voice does sound a little bit better today. And... I'm feeling a little better today. I'm off again today, but that's how I was scheduled. <coughs> so you know where I went. I went to the cotton quilt. <laughs> I have to go to the cotton quilt. You know, I didn't even fix my coffee. I, I knew I had errands to run. It was pouring rain this morning. So I got up and I like being at my nail salon as soon as they open so I can get right in and get my nails done. I'm usually, it's less than an hour um, if I'm there right when they open. So I had my nails done, of course, you know, purpley pink pink and purple um and then i left from there went to the cotton quilt picked up a few things i'm going to show you what i got because there might be something in here for you and then i went and got a few groceries and um back home and i have not even had my coffee and i called my hubby and i was like do you need anything while i'm out he's like no and i was like well, i'm going to give me some coffee because i'm almost out <laughs> no i'm not out i have two bags of coffee um and I had a few K cups left, but yeah. So I bought another bag of coffee. This is um, Starbucks breakfast blend, which is one of my favorites. And then I bought a donut shop K cup. But let me tell you about my pit stop. Cause see my hair is soaking wet in the back. My pit stop. I was on my way to the cotton quilt and there's some apartments as I'm going to the cotton quilt and I saw this beautiful little dresser not stand thing and a baker's rack and there's some mattresses and some other stuff and I was like what and then mind you it's pouring rain okay so I go down make a U and come back up and when I come back up there's a woman walking out with some some other things in her hand I said are y'all throwing that out and she's like yeah I said can I have it and she's like yeah I said well hoping I can get it in my car. I have a, um, a wagon. I have a Subaru wagon. So I was like, if I can get this in my car, it looks like it'll fit in my car. I start laying the seats down. It is pouring rain and she doesn't even offer to help me get this in my car. And, um, it's a metal and wood with marble or granite or something on top. Um, and you better believe I got that in my car. By the time I got to the cotton quilt, I was soaked. I was soaking wet um, yeah, but it's in my car. <laughs> so I, I told my hubby, I said, I got something in my car. <laughs> You're going to have to go help me get in. I don't know how I got it in there, but I got it in there. It came apart. That's how I got it in there. All right. So now to what we got at the con quilt. So I got a free baker's rack, guys. It's not huge. I mean, it fits in the back of a Subaru wagon, but it's nice. It is, it's nice. All right. So, as you guys know, I do have a giveaway going. It's going to August the 15th. And I've showed you guys several times. I'll leave the, the, the actual thank you giveaway up here. All your comments have to be made on that video. Not this video. Not on my Instagram. All your comments that you make that are required have to be made on the video that I post up there. And it'll also be down in the description box for you to click on down there. So... What I got was, some of this is for me, some of it's for you, but I'm going to show you what I got. Uh, I have seen this floating around online. Annie's, and you know I like the Annie's quilt books. They're $10, 10 ish dollars, $10, $9.99. If you're at a Joann's, you can usually catch these 25% off, but I'm not near, no, near a Joann's anymore. So I went to Cotton Quilt, and this is the Christmas one. I don't think I have this one. If I do, then y'all will be getting another uh, book. But um, I don't think I have this one. I'm trying to get it without the lights on it. Look at this. Look at this. Which, look at this. So I don't know if I have this one. I'm hoping I don't, but I might. I'll have to look and see because I have quite a few of the Annie's. I, um, let me look through and I'll, I'll be able to tell you just by looking through that I probably do or do not. Um, I don't think I do. I don't think I have this one. 
Oh, look at this one. Oh, I don't have this one. I don't remember that. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> Let me find another one. Um, this is one of the ones that was on the cover, but a better view. So, um, got this for me. Um, there is templates in here, um, so you'd have to cut out paper templates. Now, if you're going to do templates, you can go to um, Dollar Tree and get those plastic, and, and they're about like this thick, and maybe a little bit thicker, but they're plastic, and they're like frosted, pretty clear. You can see through them, but they're cutting mats for cutting food, like food prep mats. I have like a ton of them in my kitchen. I actually probably have one over here that I used for when I make soap. It was some of the older ones. Um, cut, use those to cut your templates out and you can keep them, not use paper. Um, but there is templates. What is this? Is it cakes? Is it little cakes? Vicky Puddings. It's just hard to see it on this fabric. If they, because they use, they're using white on the cream, so it's hard to see like this whipped cream right here. But if you look over here, it's supposed to be like whipped cream or icing on top of a cake with a little frou frou on top. I would use a darker background. I would use like a darker, um, a little bit more of a tan or like gray, like green, or so. I would use a darker background so this showed up because you can barely even see that in this quilt. You might can see it better like up close, but in the photo, that's that's really hard to see. But yeah, there's a figgy pudding quilt. This is pretty too. So yeah, so um, got that from me. Now whether I'm making them or not, I don't know. Um, but I I do hope to um, make some <laughs> if I can get in here. Um, I got a one yard block quilt. Now I. I got two because I told y'all y'all would have one in your thank you gift. So I got one for me and one for you. I do not have this one. I have, have two or three, but I do not have this one. This is the quilts that are in there, and I liked all of these. This one is very similar to some of the other ones I have in the books that I have. I want this one. We will be making this one, probably this one, maybe the, I don't know. I don't know, but I definitely want to do this one. Oh, uh, love, 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 love. Okay, so you get one of these. All right, so there's the books that I got. I'm going to have to clean out this bookshelf. This is a little bookshelf that's over here and redo my books because those are um, cookbooks, um, Crystal books, um, essential oil books, like creating essential oil blends and different things, soap books, different things like that. My head is stopping up, as you can hear. Now to the fun stuff, the fabric. Okay, I didn't get a ton of fabric, but I'm going to pan you guys down. And I do have a new tripod coming. I don't know how good it's going to be. I got it off the TikTok shop. But a lot of people are finding great things off the TikTok shop. So, we'll see. I've got one coming. Um, I mean, this one works. It's just metal. And um, it'd be nice to have a spare. Okay. So, uh, I messaged her yesterday. She, she's been running specials for the weekends. And it's usually $5 yardage. And I was like, what are you doing this weekend for your $5 yardage? She said, well, actually, I'm going to do panels. And actually, I should have stood up. Actually, let me... Let me let me paint you back up for a minute because this is a bigger panel. She had $5 panels and she had $8 panels. And I've seen this panel before. It had been $12. Look how pretty this is. It's got butterflies in here on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. But so pretty. So I got this panel. And, like I said, don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I've got it. Okay. And, I got three yards of fabric, of course, because I bought a three-yard quilt book. So, 
Um, one thing I love about going to Miss Martha's, if you go all the way to the back of her shop, her shop is a, a beautiful little old farmhouse. So if you go all the way to the back, there's like the bedroom. And right now that bedroom has Christmas fabric in it. But there's two shelves. One shelf has $6 pre-cut yards. They're $6. The other shelf has $10.98 pre-cut yards. So usually between those two shelves, I can find three yards for under $20 something dollars. Because this was $10.98, this was $12. So under $25, I've got three yards of fabric. But look at what I found. Look how cute this is. Ah, uh, you know, aqua kind of green colors are my favorites. I'm really big into vintage campers right now. I want a vintage camper so bad I cannot stand it. So this has, and it had on it, this is from when she was in, um, when she does her booths, she goes to several. So I got it for half price, guys. It was $11.25 a yard. I got it for $6. Let's look at this one and see if it has any information. Snowy Woods, it's cut off. I would say something Snowy Woods by Barb Tortel. Oh my gosh, what a name! Tor. It's, it looks French. Or, yeah, it looks French. If you know how to pronounce that. <laughs> if you know French. I don't know. I'm not even going to murder it. For Hen Henry Glass. Um, Snowy Woods. Yep, there it is. The whole thing. But this is adorable. Get it folded back up nice and neat. And show you the cars. Little A-frame cabins. Little... Um... I forget what these Chevy um, wagons were. And down here's a Woody wagon. Another little cabin. Another little car. Another little camper. Look, look at this car. I love old cars too. This is adorable. So to go with this, this was really close to it. This is a snowflake. And I don't know if it's the same because it was like right there with it. I don't have any information. Nope, here we go. This one is Friendly Gatherings Michael D Davis Licensed to Wilmington Prince. So this one's a different designer and collection, but look how good that goes together. I keep thinking that's something on the fabric. It's like a little rock or something. I don't know. Then this one. Most old cabins have a plaid blanket. Or tartan style blanket. This just. I don't know. They just look so good together. And this one is Woodland Friends. Michael something. Here we go. Michael Davis. Wilmington print. So this is the same designer. And that will go into a three yard quilt sometime. Fold these all back up together. But look, look how cute this is going to be. Now I know they like a light, a medium, and a dark. To me, this is going to be my dark since it has the black. This will be the focal the focal fabric, depending on what, which one I choose to do with it. But that's going to make a beautiful little quilt. All right, so that was everything I got at Cotton Quilt. All right, guys, yes, the giveaway. Um, I'll leave it down below. All you got to do is do the comments I ask you to do underneath that video, and you are entered. Um, simple rules, 18 years or older. Must be subscribed to this channel. If you follow me on Instagram, that's an extra entry. You just follow those directions. Um, announce the uh, winner on the 15th. The winner will have uh, 48 hours to contact me. And um, you can contact me either on Instagram or via an email that is listed in the rules. So, yeah. Easy peasy. And um, 
I got a, a ton of stuff that I'm getting, guys. There's actually one more thing in my purse that I need to put in there that um, y'all don't know about. And look at these cute little containers I found to put, like, notions in. Because I've always got pins and safety pins and different things floating around. Look how cute. And that's what I use. I use little Tupperware containers. Do y'all do that? See? Like Tupperware containers. But, yeah. Those are adorable. Found them at Goodwill. All right, guys, that is it. As always, thanks for watching. And um, watch my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, please go over there and follow me. It does get you an extra entry into the giveaway. Just follow the rules. Um, once I get that um, baker's rack, like, I'll put up and fix how I want it. I'll put pictures of it on Instagram. So it'll be a few days, but um, watch my Instagram for it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and be sure you're subscribed. Because YouTube likes to unsubscribe you from channels. Um, so if you have not seen notifications for me in a while, just be double check that you're still subscribed. I've had a couple people tell me they've been unsubscribed here in the last couple weeks. So um, just double check that. And I'll see you on the next one, which hopefully um, I'm going to go take a little break, finish my coffee, and get in here and cut some fabric. And we are going to work on our sew-alongs. So I'll see you very soon.